Hi there. Uh, them two are over there. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, there's one of them. And there's the husband's over there somewhere. And I'm laid up in a hammock. I feel like I'm going to I mean, fall off it. It's gorgeous. Bank holiday sun, that Sunday. Well, yeah, near May bank holiday anyway. My husband's just put this hammock up. And it's really comfy. That's why, why I look a bit silly. I've got my hair tied back. Well, not tied back, but put back. Because the fringe is getting on my nerves. I'm trying to let it grow again. Uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on what we get up to. I think I'm going to be lighting the fire. <laughs> and that's not with matches, it'd be flint and steel or whatever we can, whatever my husband's got. Um, see you in a minute. Um, I just thought I'd do, <laughs> just thought I'd, I'd have had an idea. Outfit of the day in the woods. Um, I've got my new, like, green jacket that I've bought this morning from a car boot. It's brand new. And it's got little holes there. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. Whoops. It's hard work doing this when laying down. You put your finger through. I've got my long-sleeved Right, car key top. This is a nice long one, it comes right down past here. Well, top on underneath, which looks like this. Really weird position for doing this. Uh, I've got my combat trousers on and my favourite, cool, really comfortable walking shoes. I got these one when I was on my honeymoon from Scotland five years ago. Uh, them two are getting stuff ready for me so I can light the fire. Um, I don't think I'll be videoing that. I might do, I might get one of those two to hold the camera. Ow. Can't do it. So to my end. Not gonna be anything left of this. I'll tell you what, hold on. <laughs> so it broke quite hard. Yay! Uh, turn it upside down. That's it. Right, just wait for some flames. Don't know whether you got it. I don't think you turn. You need to turn it when you turn it upside down. You do it so that the flames come through. I think you've lost that. Oh, blow. <laughs> exactly. There's a char cloth down there. And that's how it's done. So it's had a little bit of... <coughs> a little yeah, bit of stick. Get your kindle on. And just let it build. You can like, pick your sticks up as well, get the yeah. flames roaring through mm. it and stuff like that. To put air in it, you just lift them up. And it's and you really going get it straight going. up. 
Get out of the way. Right. Oh my gosh, it's in the map. And it's going straight towards that, straight over that way. Oh my God, straight at me! <laughs> once it gets an established fire, that should go away, it? Yeah, that smoke will die down once we're going. Yeah. Ian, what are you doing? Uh, I'm attempting a bow. Well, I'm not sure. It's the first time I've ever done one. So we get to see. Oh. Mate, you don't mind going on YouTube, do you? No, I quite like it in my uh, thinky outfits. <laughs> it makes a change. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to mention anything about your kinky outfits. <laughs> you might think I've got some weird friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you make that, Ian? Well, got a piece of. Uh, Quite bendy wood. You look uh, like Robin Hood. With a bit of tension on it. And uh, fire straight in the stick. So it's as straight as can be, as I can be bothered to do. So where did you get your string from? eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say you found it out here. <laughs> this is a natural twine that I made from the roots. Oh. So, uh, will you be trying to uh, trying that out while we're over here? Yep, I'll be trying that out. We'll all be trying that out. Are you making an arrow? Yep, I'll be fire straightening them as well. Captain his dinner with that. <laughs> it looks like Robin Hood. <laughs> well, not on Ray Mears. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your arrows? Yeah, this is bad. These are the arrows that I've found. This is hazel because it grows quite straight, it's fighting for the sun. So I just need to fire, straighten these on the fire as well because we're a bit bent at the minute. And they'll be my arrows. Ooh, we're very posh. We'll see, we'll see how far we get. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm looking no forward to it. I've not got any flint, well, apart from the flint in my fire kit. <laughs> hey, you've not got much of that left now after I've had a go. Yeah. <laughs> This is the bow. I've uh, straightened my arrow on the fire because they're a bit wobbly, so I just heat it up on the fire, bend the stick and sit it straight. Fire should harden the, the tip. At the minute I've got no flights on it, but I'm just going to test it, see how it is. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> kind of works. Hmm. Did it work when, what are you going to get... Can't say, are you going to get to something for dinner now then? <laughs> Peppers, mushrooms, and chorizo. Yeah. One of these is kebabs. Work of art, is it, John? Yeah. <laughs> Saturday kitchen's got nothing on us. <laughs> and then yellow again. The only fattening thing there is the tree, so how do you say it, Ian? Chorizo. No, I said it like you do. A 
Yeah, a bit smoked. Mm, that's the flavour. I suppose I ought to make myself one instead of just standing here. It will be gone otherwise. That was a bit still squeaky. Fun day. Sorry, but red um, pepper starting to go a bit black. Oh, oh that bit looks so nice. <laughs> mm, nice. Yeah. Oh, you're not. You won't like that, Ian. Wow. Uh -uh. <laughs> Come around here, please, and then zoom in <laughs> to bottom lip. Your tree, yours is all burnt. It's not. Looking good. Looking good, yeah. yeah. I see you and John doing the bushcraft. John's trying to make a chair. It doesn't look like a chair to me. Yeah, it's just a perch, perch and bull mine. Hmm. It should be made in Hessian. Hessian sack. And Ian is putting feathers on his bows. That's my flight feathers. Oh. Three of them. And how are you going to put them on? They're going to go on like this. On like this. All right. I'm going to use uh, some bluebell bulbs. Because the sap and the bulb is sticky, and some of the uh, olden day people used to use the sticky sap. It's very sticky for uh, gluing them on to start with, and then I can put a very thin piece of cord round, tie it off, and it should stay on. In theory, that's what Ray Mears said anyway. <laughs> Ray Mears. We'll see how we go. Okay, smoke that. I can't see you, John. I'm just needing to loosen this because I need to tilt it back more. In Hessian. Oh, mate. Oh. Lazy days in the wood. We'll have you up a bit higher next time. So this is the flighted arrow this time. I've just shaved a bit of the bark off, got the bluebell bulb, rubbed it on where it was really sticky, I stuck the feathers down where I'd like them and I thinned out some paracord just to get the, the thin thread off it and wound it around each feather and around the stick 
stuck it down, tied it on, so now it should be a hundred times more accurate. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it won't break. Oh, Robin Hood's at it again. Oh. What broke your bow? 